What is up guys? Uh, last time I did a video on this, you guys really enjoyed it and I got a lot of support. So I wanted to do a little bit of an update on what is good to snipe now. You guys really like the list of individual cars to snipe and then also what those prices are on those cars. Real quick though, if you guys haven't, make sure you check out my new memberships. A lot of you guys asked for them um, when I made a community post about them and uh, I, brought, I brought that to you guys and there is a lot of uh, tiers and really cool things within those tiers that you can get. So if you have it, make sure you guys go check out the memberships. You basically just go to my YouTube channel page and then you hit the join button and then you can check out the tiers from there. Other than that, let's jump right in. Basically, uh, this list is gonna go down from the cars worth the most down to the cars uh, worth the least on the list, but that doesn't mean that that's what makes you the most uh, money just because they're worth more. Um, I, I, I wanted to put these in a list of what makes you the most money, but it's nearly impossible to kind of categorize that and I have a lot of filters on my channel that combine a lot of these cars and that would obviously make more money because more cars would be posted uh, within those filters than sniping individual cars um, so I'm kind of just going to go down the list of what the value of them is um, in order from most to least and uh, you guys can go from there on what cars you'd like to snipe so starting off we're going to look at the uh, Ferrari 812. So I actually made a filter for this way, way, way earlier on my channel. Um, this is a pretty uh, well-known car across the board in, uh, in Forza for being worth a lot of money. I made a filter. It's I just called it the Ferrari filter. Um, basically, it gets all of those um, rare and valuable Ferraris like the 599 Evo and the 812 and um, some other uh, smaller ones that can make you some quick money. I'm all into one filter, so if you guys haven't, go check that out. It's uh, much earlier in my videos, and I don't think it's named Ferrari. Uh, it's something like investing in filters. It's got a Ferrari logo in the thumbnail. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically that. The, the 812, worth about $20 million. And then we move into the uh, Ford GT500 um, 2020. So this car... Um, actually ended up never going down in price and it's worth about 15 to 19 million if you could snake selling it for 19 million i'd say go for it um but you're probably going to be looking at more of the 15 mil range now, i put this up here though just because you can post it for 19 million and as long as you can post something for that there is a chance that it sells for that even though it's probably pretty low but this car is worth a ton of money and is uh still pretty well desired due to it being one of those mustangs that has an absolute ton of horsepower on this game and they're super fun to drive and drift and stuff um next up on the list this is also a pretty well-known one the cone said jesco um they're about 16 million right now they were at 20 million they dipped down because they got added back to the game uh, i think they went down to like 12 million or maybe even as far as like 8 or 10 million and they're already back up to 16 so there actually is a chance that these go back up to 20 million they get posted all the time but the minimum that they can get posted for is not 138,000 like a lot of other cars it's actually 1.5 million so if you're sniping this car you have to have the max buyout at at least 1.5 million that's what most people post it for at snipeable prices um so just keep an eye out for that make sure you're not trying to snipe this thing for 138k or, or under a million because you're not going to see any because they can't even get posted for that um next up we have another pretty well known one that came out around the time of the Jesco and all that, all that stuff in that in that period of a lot of new cars. Um, the Corvette C8, uh, the Stingray, it's worth about sixteen million. A um, little bit harder to sell. Uh, they can be kind of tough to sell. I want to post a video on how to sell uh, any car pretty much very soon, and I also want to post a video uh, of an updated backstage pass guide. Um, they are a little bit harder to sell, but if you use those techniques that I'm going to show in that video coming soon, you guys will understand how to sell these and shouldn't really have that much of a problem at all. Um, moving on, we have a car that's made a little bit of a resurgence and actually got me started into sniping. This is a car where I made all of my money at the beginning, if you guys are wondering kind of how I got things kicked off. There was a little bit of click flipping going on uh, using the festival playlist, but also I ended up sniping four of these in about 15 minutes, and that's when I actually realized that sniping was possible and it was something that you could actually do and they were 20 million at the time and selling for 20 million so i made 60 million right out of the gate and i only had like a million at a time so that's a big deal for me and i was like man this is actually something viable like this is actually something that works like there's not a bunch of bots dominating this market i played a lot of other games and realized that you know markets were like dominated by bots and like other people just sitting there sniping all day and like what are the odds you actually get it but 
this is a game where you can actually snipe and where you can actually make money. And this is kind of the card that made me realize that it's back up to 16 million. It went really, really low for a while, like maybe a mil or two. And now it's back up to 16 and uh, maybe it'll make a resurgence to 20. Uh, it's been sitting at 16 for a little while though, so don't bank on that. But it definitely is up in price and definitely it's a great card to snipe. A lot of them being posted for whatever reason. <laughs> So check that out. Uh, those will make you some good money. Very easy and fun to snipe, in my opinion, and a very fun car overall. Uh, the next one's a little bit of an oddity that I didn't even know was in the game, and I still don't even think I own one. But this is a keyword that I'm not going to try to pronounce because I've heard people try to pronounce it or, or actually pronounce it, and I'm... No, thank you. Um... But <laughs> the 2000 or 207 Super 2000, uh, it's about 15 million right now. There's quite a lot on the market actually. It, it goes from 15 to 19. Um, so another car that you might be able to get 19 for, I doubt it, but you could try. Uh, it's more in the 15 range though. Uh, really cool car. Uh, probably really fun. I'm definitely gonna look towards trying to snipe one um, myself and uh, give it a go but yeah there you go a uh, car that's worth a ton of money and a lot of them are getting posted lately and it's probably one that not a lot of people know about but might be a car you guys can snipe on the dl and uh try to make some big money on moving on to the next car which a lot of people have been commenting on for some reason saying it's dropping in price or going up in price or whatever the case is um it basically goes for about 12 mil but there is a couple that are at 9 to 11 um mercedes-benz amg hammer group might not be the best to snipe right now as it is getting a little bit more rare but any car that's rare is easier to snipe so if it's harder to get it's easier to snipe <laughs> or if it's harder to get it's easier to sell if it's easier to get it's harder to sell obviously um so since it's a little bit harder to get there's less on the market it's going to sell pretty pretty easily um so you should be able to pull 12 mil for this but if you can't you'll get guaranteed you know 9 to 10 mil uh no problem and then uh, moving on to the next one, we have one of my favorite cars in the game. Absolute blast of drift. The uh, Fair Lady Twin Turbo Z, about 12 million going for this one. Um, it's been consistent at 12 million forever. It sells at 12 million. Um, this car has been chilling around this price point for a long, long time. And quite a lot of them have been getting posted lately, which is crazy because not a lot did for the long, longest time. I just, it just ignore me. I just, I just buy random cars if they're super low that I can sell for like a quick five mil or whatever. Uh, moving on to the next car. This is one that scared me. Gave me a little bit of a spook for a while because it had started to drop in price pretty significantly. Um, and I was hoping that it would that the pricing the pricing on it wouldn't get ruined. And uh, it is making a little bit of a recovery here. Um, the RTR Spec 5, Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5, it's about 10 to 12 million right now in price. Um, really, really cool, fun car. Another one of those Mustangs that you can get to really high horsepower. Fun fact, it's actually like the third fastest non-DLC drag car right now or something like that. If you drag tune it, it's like the third fastest non-DLC drag car. Um, obviously, Shelby Monaco is the fastest uh, drag car in the game. Um, but yeah, really cool car worth about 10 to 12 million. Make you a ton of money. Go check that out. And I know there's probably better cars on the list, but the reason for this car is because if you look at a lot of the cars I posted, GT500, RTR Spec 5, you know, a lot of these like muscly type cars, um, they're in my modern muscle filter. And then a lot of these cars are in like the 2020 filters and stuff like that. Um, so a lot of these cars match up. So this final car, I kind of just put in here. I know it's probably not the 10th best car to snipe, um, but I literally just put it in here um, as a it's part of the filter type of thing. Um, and that's the Dodge Demon. A lot of these get posted. And honestly, they're only worth 7 to 9 million. But I literally sniped six of these in less than 15 minutes one time. Which is 36 million if you sell it at nine. So like a lot more money than you're going to make uh, sniping some other cars. Um and I just, there's so many of these because they're part of the um, story that people earn them from and post them because they just want the instant money. Um, and you can basically just snipe these like they're going out of style, especially part of the modern muscle filter that I have posted on my channel. Um, so these are definitely worth checking out. Um, honorable mentions, um, the which is a, what a lot of you guys are probably thinking should have been in this spot. The Razor. 
So the reason I did it is because it's at 8 million and it just got added to the Forza Launch Shop, which made the price dip. It was at 16. It basically halved the price, right? Um, one of two things is going to happen. Either they're flooded now and it's going to stabilize at about 8 to 10 million or it's going to go back up after it gets removed and it's going to hit, you know, 15, 16, maybe even 20 million. Um, definitely a car to keep an eye on. Definitely a car to snipe. I mean, honestly... If you're getting these for low bids, especially like 740000 or whatever, or 200000 like, honestly, I'm probably going to be bidding on these to try to make money. Um, It really might be worth holding on to these and watching these go up in price after they're removed from the Forza Thun shop. It definitely might be worth keeping an eye on. Um, and then the other honorable mention is the Porsche 356 RSR. Um, new car, it is constantly rising in price. There's not a lot getting posted. Um, if you haven't gotten on this investment train yet, you might not be able to get on it um they they're getting posted a little bit more rare now that, that they're not uh obtainable and basically uh i talked about this but they're gonna raise in price dram dramatically just like a lot of the other new cars have um they're gonna be worth an absolute ton of money so keep an eye on that keep an eye on the tech young going up and other than that that is my top 10 cars to auction snap i hope you liked the video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe make sure you guys check out those memberships if you haven't come by the stream and hang out come by the discord if you have any questions um not to me specifically but you guys can ask other viewers that will help you out um and other than that have a beautiful day and thank you for watching